Hey, welcome back to the Carly and Matt channel. My name is Matt, and as you probably guessed from the title of this video, we're answering a simple question. Is the Tascam DR10L no longer the audio king of wedding filmmaking? Let's find out. As a wedding videographer, filmmaker, whatever you wanna call yourself, nothing is more important than capturing high quality audio. But in order to do that, you need to make sure that you have the right pieces of gear to do so. So today I just wanna dive into a short real world comparison of the Tascam DR10L and the DJI mics. So let's start with the DJI mics. I've got the transmitter hooked up to me right here and the receiver hooked up to my camera here, but this is the charging case that the double transmitter and receiver kit comes with. These mics are super compact, lightweight, super easy to use. I didn't even have to look through the instruction booklet to get started with these. Watched a couple videos after the fact, but all that to say, they are super quick and easy to figure out how to shoot with. Now I know some people might be upset that these are two very different microphones that we're comparing the Tascam DR10L and the DJI mics, but we're comparing what we have in our personal kit and the uses that they have themselves. These mics are super compact, lightweight, and are an ideal solution for those who are looking for more of a compact, small, lightweight kit that is going to be fitting of a run and gun style of shooting. So the DJI mics transmit over a 2.4 gigahertz band and the transmission it boasts is up to 50 meters away. I don't know in what scenario you're going to be transmitting over 50 meters specifically when it comes to wedding films, but it is nice and I sleep better at night knowing that I have that feature available. The best part about these mics is the fact that they have built in omnidirectional microphone that allow you to record without the use of a lav mic. So we picked up this little kit right here, right before our first wedding of the 2023 season, and I fell in love with it immediately. It has two incredible features that most mics do not have, and the first one is the fact that it records internally while also transmitting wirelessly. You enable the internal recording at the press of a button, a light lights up to confirm that you are indeed recording, and then you are off to the races. The reason I like this so much is because even though we live in a world where everything is moving over to wireless, you never can fully trust a wireless signal to not pick up interference on the way to your camera. And if the internal recording is not enough to convince you that these are top tier microphones, like I said, this one has a built-in microphone that allows you to start recording audio without having need of any kind of external mic at all. And if that isn't enough, these things don't need those stupid, annoying, tiny, tiny little micro SD cards that every other lav mic requires. These things record internally um, and they are just incredible. The fact that I don't have to carry around all these tiny little, little micro SD cards and all of the adapters to plug them into a computer, game changer. Next, let's do a quick little overview so that we don't forget that the Tascam DR10L is still pretty high tier as far as audio for a wedding filmmaker. So as you can tell, pretty small, lightweight, same as the DJI. It is a little bit bigger than the transmitter, but it's about the same size as the receiver of the DJI mic. It's nice, small, portable, super lightweight, and it can be attached with the clip that comes with it or thrown into a thigh strap or armband or whatever it is that you're using to attach your audio source to the groom or the bride. It doesn't have an external mic like the DJI mic does, but it does come with a really high quality external 3.5 millimeter lav mic. We all know it records to micro SD cards, MP3, WAV formats, yada yada, and it has the ability to record a safety track, which I really, really like that the DJI mic does not have. This thing right here has been the industry standard for wedding filmmakers for years and years and years. And don't get me wrong, we are not getting rid of these anytime soon. That safety track feature comes in super, super handy, especially when someone's audio source is very inconsistent 
and you don't have that same ability with the DJI mic. This isn't a perfect review because ideally we would be recording sound quality for both and then comparing them with external mics and without and yada yada, but all I'm going off of for this video is my experience with filming a wedding with these guys, and so we're not gonna do a head-to-head -head sound quality comparison. So the DJI mic provides a pretty clean signal, clean audio, sounds really, really great, captures the ambience of the room really well without being too noisy. I love, like I said, I can't get enough of these onboard microphones because that means I can just slide in into someone's jacket pocket and we're off to the races, we're getting audio from anyone or anything that I need. In our most recent wedding film, I actually just took one of these and slipped it into the officiant's jacket pocket just to have another track of audio for the three of them standing at the front, the bride, the groom, and the officiant. It's amazing. The versatility that comes with that onboard mic is just something I cannot get enough of, especially for more of an on-the-go, run-and-gun style filmmaking. All you really have to do is find something to clip this onto or use the magnet that comes with it, and then you're recording audio and you're good to go. The DR10L, on the other hand, does provide a sound that is just a little bit nicer to listen to. It's a little bit warmer, it has a little bit of depth, but I think that is due to the fact that you are always going to be using a high quality lav mic and not just an onboard microphone when using the Tascam DR10L. Like I said, we have yet to test the DJI mics with external labs, but that is for a future video. Ultimately, this comparison comes down to ease of use. The DJI wireless setups are super easy to just grab and go and just start recording in a pinch. All you have to do to sync up your transmitter and receiver is open the case that it comes with, wait for the light to turn green, which takes about three seconds, and then you're ready to clip your microphones onto two different subjects and start recording. And not only that, but like I've said earlier, you just enable your internal recording as well as your backup safety, and then you're good to go. The DR10L is arguably still pretty easy to use, but it does take a little bit more hands-on. You have to make sure you activate your dual channel recording, you have to make sure you hit your on button, you have to make sure that all of that registers before you actually mic up your subject. However, once you are set up and recording, you don't have to touch it and you don't have to worry about it because you can trust that the audio is going to come out nice and clean. So, I mean, the real conclusion is both of these have their uses, both of these have their drawbacks, and it's really up to you to make the decision as to what your style is going to be when it comes to recording audio for your weddings. For us, we think that although the DJI mic isn't perfect, it fits our style and our needs much better than the DR10L does. The only drawback that we have so far with the DJI mics is picking up this dual transmitter and receiver with the charging case costs about the same as getting two DR10Ls individually. Although we still have many more weddings to come this season, we are very, very confident in saying the DJI mics are not going anywhere. So ultimately, it's up to you to decide. Are you sticking with the tried and true DR10Ls or are you going to go out on a limb and pick up some of the newest DJI gear in the DJI mics? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.